everyone, welcome to this video. I'm just gonna take you along my day with me today. Um, I have some scripting to do, some things for uni. I have to study French and I think I want to bake something. I feel like I've made a lot of very heady videos the past weeks and you know, that's great. I love the intellectual stimulation. <laughs> but this week I feel like I want to take a bit of a break from that and just be a little bit more creative in my video making and take this baby around and try out some ideas that have been floating around in my head. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna study some French. I'm gonna be moving to Paris in five weeks. <laughs> And I'm honestly quite nervous about studying in French. I haven't really spoken French in nine years. <laughs> and luckily there is this language learning platform from the European Union where if you do a semester abroad, you get free access to it. And I activated my account the other day to do the introduction test. So you have to do like an upfront assessment where they see where you're at, right? What level your language skills are at. And turns out I'm B2 in French, which I'm very positively surprised by. I was really nervous that because I haven't spoken French in like nine years, <laughs> that it would all be gone and I would be like A1 or A2 or something. But it seems fine. Nevertheless, I really want to get back into French big time because all my classes are going to be in French and yeah, I'm just I'm just going to be a real university student. Those French professors are not going to speak any slower for me, so I'm going to have to keep up. So I'll check out the website now and see what kinds of exercises I can do. In other news regarding Paris, I finally have a place to stay. <laughs> Finding a room or an apartment in Paris is really as difficult as everyone says it is. <laughs> this was such an ordeal, but I'm so happy that it's done. And yeah, now there's really nothing in the way anymore of me actually going there. <laughs> so that's exciting. Let's look at this learning platform. First impressions, the website is a bit confusing <laughs> and uh, I feel like all the listening exercises are really fast, like comically fast, even for French people. I mean, listen to this. Bonjour et bienvenue dans un nouvel épisode de la série dédiée à l'art moderne et contemporain. Aujourd'hui, on va parler d'un art un peu différent qui est souvent associé à la contre-culture et à un esprit de rébellion, l'art urbain. Il y a beaucoup de types différents d'art urbain. Les fresques, la peinture murale, les tags, le trompe-l'œil, la mosaïque, le pochoir. Il y a plein de possibilités. I can't even speak that fast. C'est sympa parce que ça rend la ville unique. C'est sympa parce que ça rend. C'est sympa parce que la rend sa vie unique. C'est sympa parce que ça rend la vie unique. <laughs> I'm gonna die in France. <laughs> I just thought, you know, there's always these people in my comments who are like, I can only watch your videos on 1.5 speed. <laughs> Maybe, maybe living in France for a while will give me the 1.5 speed that everyone's asking for. Okay, I've had enough of that French madness. I need to take a break now. I think I'm gonna go out to the bookstore. There's still a book I need to buy. Uh, Thomas Bernhard, Concrete or Beton in German. Because I still have to write a paper about it <laughs> for uni. And I've just kind of ignored that fact for the past two months <laughs> because I'm really not looking forward to it. I have to write a paper where I compare Thomas Bernhardt's Concrete to Tim Shainer's I Hate Fiction. And I think I'm not very suited for 
meticulous scientific research so i've just been putting it off this whole like working scientifically i don't know it kind of stresses me out anyways i'm gonna make some lunch and then let's go to the bookstore <laughs> from the bookstore I got what I needed I just I don't understand why he always has to look so grim <laughs> like here's my copy of Heldenblatt's Hero Square I don't know me and Bernhard we'll see we'll see where we're going we'll see on a much happier note I also got coconut oil and white chocolate <laughs> because I thought I would make some blueberry white chocolate cookies um, I'm seeing a friend tonight and we're making lasagna and I thought maybe for dessert I would make us some cookies so I'll try to make a really cool overhead montage of the recipe so you can recreate it if you want to but before I do that I still have to do a little bit of scripting <laughs> I've taken on the impossible task of making a video about everything that I had to read in my first year of studying literature and it's so much work to carry everything together I don't know, I've gotten into a bit of a habit with my videos lately where I'm biting off more than I can chew and this is just the epitome of that it's probably gonna have to be a two or three part series or something because I don't even think I can speak for as long as the script already is now but I feel like people really want to see that. I'll do a bit of scripting for that and then I'll get to the blueberries and the lasagna and maybe I'll still play a bit of piano today. But otherwise, I think that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.